Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Amul Shinde. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is straight. So what is mean by straight? So straight is a naturally formed, narrow, typically navigable waterway that connects two larger bodies of water. Two larger bodies of water. Most commonly it is channel of water that lies between the two land masses. Okay, so straight is naturally formed first. It's narrow. Sometimes it is navigable, sometimes it is not. So it's a waterway that connects the two larger bodies of water point to be noted that is it connect the two larger bodies of water and in another way we can say that it separates the two land masses that is we call it as a state connects the two larger bodies of water and separate the two land masses it is naturally formed narrow and it's navigable sometimes it is not so here is a first state bearing state okay bearing state that separates the asia from north america or Bering Strait separates the Asia and North America and connects the East Siberian Sea with the Bering Sea. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Here is the map. It separates the Russia and Alaska. Alaska of United States of America. Okay. Or we can say that it separates the Asia from North America. And here is the Bering Strait. This is the strait. Okay. We can see here that it connects the two water bodies. First this one and second this one so it's a bearing sea from this side and from this side is east siberian sea okay here and it separates the two land masses that is the asia and north america you can see here here you can see east siberian sea that is connecting to the bearing sea from this bearing strait the next one is la perau strait la perau strait separates the sakhalin island Sakhalin Island is of Russia and Hokkaido Island. Okay, so La Perau Strait separating Sakhalin Island and Hokkaido Island and connecting the Sea of Okhotsk with the Sea of Japan. So look here, La Perau Strait, okay, east to the Russia or east to the China, we can say, and it is separating the Sakhalin Island, which is of Russia, from Hokkaido Island. Okay. And it is connecting the Sea of Japan and here we can draw this curve like this okay and here Sea of Okhotsk so here it must be the Sea of Okhotsk and it is connecting that with the Sea of Japan and separating the two land bodies that is Sakhalin Island and Hokkaido Island so here Sea of Okhotsk Sea of Japan and here Sakhalin Island and here is Hokkaido Island so it is connecting these two water bodies you can see here okay the next one is Tartary Strait. Tartary Strait, it is separating the Eastern Russia and Sakhalin Island. So it means that here is the Sakhalin Island. Okay. So it is near to the uh, Perau Strait. So it is located near to the Perau Strait and it connects the Sea of Okhotsk with the Sea of Japan. So let's have a look at that. Yeah. Here's Sakhalin Island and here is Hokkaido Island. So this one we already. Uh, seen that is it's La Perau Strait okay it connecting Sea of Japan with the Sea of Okhotsk here okay this Sea of Okhotsk and Tartary Strait now it's time for Tartary Strait Tartary Strait like uh, it connecting the Sea of Okhotsk with the Sea of Japan okay so see this is the Tartary Strait someone call it as a Tartary Strait someone call it Tatar Strait someone call it Tatar Strait okay so Tartary Straits that is Sea of Okhotsk with the Sea of Japan and it's separating the two land bodies that is the Russia, Eastern Russia, we can say, and Sakhalin Island. Okay. The next one, Korea Strait. Korea Strait separates the South Korea and Kyushu of Japan. Okay. So Kyushu is the region of Japan. So it is separating South Korea from the Kyushu of Japan. That is the Korea Strait. And it connects the Yellow Sea with the Sea of Japan. Let's have a look here. Yellow Sea. And here Korea Strait and Sea of Japan. Okay, here is a Korea Strait. So by this way, it is connecting these two water bodies. And it's separating the two land masses, that is South Korea, okay, from this Kyushu island of Japan. So it is separating South Korea from Kyushu island of Japan, that is the Korea Strait. The next one is Formosa Strait. Formosa Strait is also called as a Taiwan Strait. Okay, so whenever they ask you Formosa Strait, 
it is mean that it is a Taiwan Strait. So it separates the two. It separates the two land bodies that is Taiwan and China, and connects the East China Sea with the South China Sea. It means that it should be located eastern side of the China. So let's see. Yeah, it is eastern side of the China. It's a China. Here is Taiwan Strait. Okay, and this is Taiwan. So this is East China Sea, and here is the South China Sea. Here. East China Sea and South China Sea. So it, it is connecting the East China Sea with the South China Sea and it is separating the Taiwan and China. So here is the Taiwan Strait, China, and here is Taiwan, East China Sea from South China, uh, connecting South China Sea by this way. Next one is the Luzon Strait. So Luzon Strait separates the two land bodies that is Taiwan and Luzon of Philippines and it is connecting the South China Sea with the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so let's see Luzon. Okay, here's South China Sea, and it is separating the two regions that is the Taiwan from the Luzon of Philippines. So Luzon of Philippines is here, and Taiwan is here. So the strait must be here in between. Okay, so here is the South China Sea, and here is the Pacific Ocean. So it is connecting the two. It is connecting the two water bodies that is Pacific Ocean and South China Sea, and separating the Taiwan from the Luzon of Philippines. So here we can say that it's the Luzon Strait, which is separating Taiwan from the Luzon of Philippines, and here is the South China Sea. And from this street, we can go here, and here will be the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Then next, next is the Makassar Street. Makassar Street. So let me choose another color for you. Oh, Makassar Street. Makassar Street separates the Borneo, that is Kalimantan. Okay, Kalimantan from the Borneo and Celebes Island, and connects the Celebes Sea with the Java Sea. So let's see the location of the Makassar Street. So Makassar Strait is here, okay. So here we can see that is it is separating the Borneo from the Celebes Island, okay, and it connecting the Celebes Sea with the Java Sea. So this diagram is not like that specific. So let's see here, okay. So it's Borneo, Borneo, and here is the Celebes Island, okay, and it is connecting Java Sea here. With the Celebes Sea, so Borneo and Celebes Island is separated by the Makassar Strait, and it is connecting the Java Sea with the Celebes Sea. The next, Sundra Strait. Sundra Strait separating the Java and Sumatra, and it connects the Java Sea with the Indian Ocean. Sunda Strait. Okay. So Sunda Strait is connecting the Indian Ocean, okay, with the Java Sea. So by this way, we can connect the Sunda Strait with the, uh, with the Indian Ocean and Java Sea, and it is separating the regions that is Sumatra and Java. The next is Malacca Strait. Okay, Malacca Strait separates the Malaya Peninsula and Sumatra, and connects the Java Sea with the Bay of Bengal. So let's see. Here, Strait of Malacca. So it's Strait of Malacca. It is connecting the Bay of Bengal. Okay, it is connecting the Bay of Bengal with the Java Sea. Okay, so here must be the Java Sea here. So Bay of Bengal with Java Sea, and it separates the Malaysian Peninsula and Sumatra. So here Malaysia, and this region is Sumatra. Okay, so it is separating the two land masses that is Malaysia and Sumatra. And connecting the two water bodies, that is Bay of Bengal, with the Java Sea. So that is what, what the Strait of Malacca. So you can remember easily that is Malacca is like near to the Malaysia. So M for Malacca, M for Malaysia. Here is the Strait of Malacca, a very good map. Strait of Malacca. Here is Malaysia, and on another side it's Indonesia or the Sumatra region. Then next, here is the Strait of Malacca again. Okay, is Sumatra, and this is Malaysia. Malacca Strait is one of the great shipping corridors of the world. Shipping corridors, what does that mean? It transports the goods from these corridors. Okay, so that is the Malacca Strait, one of the great shipping corridors of the world. The next one is the Strait of Chahor, or Strait of Chahor, we can call it. It separates the Singapore from Malaysia, and that connects the two water bodies, that is South China Sea, with the Strait of Malacca. So Strait of Chahor. Okay, so here, it is separating the Singapore. From the Malaysia. Okay, and this is one of the longest strait. Here, follow this line. 
so this is the state of Jahur and Jahur port is situated in Malaysia it is connecting the two water bodies which are the two water bodies let me show you here here okay so it is connecting the Strait of Malacca with the South China Sea so here must be somewhere South China Sea and here the Strait of Singapore this Strait this Strait is connecting the Strait of Malacca and here the South China Sea next one is the Strait of Hormuz Strait of Hormuz separate the United Arab Emirates and Iran and it connects the Persian Gulf with the Gulf of Oman so let's have a look at that here the Strait of Hormuz okay Strait of Hormuz it is separating the United Arab Emirates from Iran okay so there here is the Strait of Hormuz or we can say in one way it is separating Oman from Iran okay so Strait of Hormuz is there Strait of Hormuz and it is connecting the Gulf of Oman with the Persian Gulf the Strait of Bosporus Strait of Bosporus that separate the Asia from Europe so here which is the following strait that separate the Asia and Europe so that will be the Strait of Bosporus and that also connects the Black Sea with the Sea of Marmara so let's see here Bosporus Strait Bosporus Strait is connecting the two water bodies the two water bodies are Black Sea and Sea of Marmara okay and it is separating the Asia from Europe and connecting the two major water bodies that is the Black Sea with the Sea of Marmara the next Strait of Dardanelles Strait of Dardanelles that also separating the Asia and Europe okay and connecting the Sea of Marmara with the Mediterranean Sea so let's see here the Strait of Dardanelles Strait of Dardanelles yeah here is the Strait of Dardanelles so Dardanelles Strait so let's see here it is connecting the Sea of Marmara with the Mediterranean Sea or in one way we can say it is connecting the Asian Sea so here the Sea of Marmara connecting the Mediterranean Sea by the Dardanelles Strait so here is the Dardanelles Strait okay and it is separating the two bodies of land okay so that two bodies of land are Asia and Europe so this region is here so you can see here that this region is Asia and this region is Europe okay so it is separating these two land bodies which are very important so thanks for watching this video guys if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thank you